Hello English 100 class. This is your video about reading. You can see I'm in my dining room as usual with my books behind me because I love to read. Anyway, our focus right now is active reading. Like what do you do while you read? In college, you're going to read a lot and some things are going to be really difficult to read. So you have to kind of become, get ready for those hard readings. It educated might confuse you at times, but but in college you'll read things much more difficult than this book. So I hope I hope the reading is going well for you so far. We're going to look at <clears throat> chapter five, and as I said, we're going to focus on the idea of active reading. So this is page forty-one in the book. So if you want to hit pause and go to page forty-one in your book. That might be a good idea right now. Everyone find the page and maybe remember what's going on here. This is the beginning of chapter 5, page 41. Okay, so in this scene, we have everybody in the living room. And Westover writes, Dad had begun to expound a scripture when Tyler cleared his throat and said he was leaving. Tyler is one of Tara's older brothers. I think she has a few older brothers. So Tara's a child, Tyler is older. And Tyler says, I'm g -g 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 going to college, he said, his face rigid. Well, wow, it sounds like he's nervous. I'm wondering if he's a stutterer or if he's just nervous. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. Anyway. It says, everyone looked at Dad. His face was folded, impassive. The silence was worse than shouting. Okay, so it seems pretty tense. Tyler would be the third of my brothers to leave home. Let's, let's see how Dad reacts, because it, it seems like the focus is on Dad here. Look at the bottom of page 41. What's college, I said. I'm not sure how old Tara is here, but she's a kid. And she says, what's college? College, and then we get Dad. College is extra school for people too dumb to learn the first time around, Dad said. Tyler stared at the floor, his face tense. <laughs> at this point, I'm laughing. Like, I'm a college professor, and I think this is amazing. So part of active reading is you just react. Like, you're a person. You're a human. You're going to react in some way. I don't know what your reaction is. But my reaction is that I laughed when I read this. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm wondering what's going on with dad. Like, why would he say this? Okay, so let's go to the next page. So again, the first part of active reading is you're a human and you're going to react in some way. So I'm reacting <laughs> by laughing. <laughs> let's see what else dad is going to say about college. All right, let's go to the next page. Uh, he listened to dad. So that's Tyler listening to dad who settled into a lecture. So dad's lecturing, uh-oh. Here's dad. There's two kinds of them college professors, dad said. Those who know they're lying and those who think they're telling the truth. Dad grinned. I, I, it's interesting that dad is grinning. I wonder if he's, is he kidding or does he really mean this? Anyway, don't know which is worse, come to think of it a bona fide agent of the Illuminati, who at least knows he's on the devil's payroll, or a high-minded professor who thinks his wisdom is greater than God's. He was still grinning. The situation wasn't serious. He just needed to talk some sense into his son. <laughs> so again, I'm still reacting. I'm a dad. I'm a college professor. So that's how I'm reacting. But you might react in a different way. I don't know. It's 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 really just you reacting. That's the first part of active reading. Um, the second part of active reading here is that you want to take notes. So the education, remember in your notes, the education theme, like you have a column in your notes that's about things related to school and learning. So everyone should take a note in this spot and you can decide exactly what to write down. You might just write, 
dad hates college or something simple like that. And then the page number. Okay. So you're, you're noticing that the education theme came up. So you're going to write down. All right. Let's go ahead a little bit to here. Let's see. At the bottom of page 42, uh, we have more on dad on, on college. I think this stuff is so interesting. I, I don't really understand why dad thinks this. A man can't make a living out of books and scraps of paper, dad said. You're going to be the head of the family. How can you support a wife and children with books? Huh. I think that's an, that's an okay question. At, at the bottom of page 42, and we'll stop here. A son of mine standing in line to get brainwashed by socialists and Illuminati spies. Okay, so again, I'm reacting. But at this point, there's one more thing about active reading that comes up. You should be thinking, what does dad mean when he says socialists? What does dad mean when he says Illuminati spies? What is he talking about? So I think once in a while, you should Google something. So I Googled socialism. And you could read all day about socialism. It's pretty complicated. But, but I think sometimes you Google something and you get a definition and you see how it goes. Socialism. Let me make it bigger. A social and economic theory of social organization which advocates that the means of production distribution and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. Now I'm thinking, I don't know if I understand all that, but socialists believe that people should be owned by the community as a whole. So it's probably not capitalism. Anyway, you might, you might make a note of that, but it's kind of complicated. So you might just have to sit with not getting it. Anyway, so dad doesn't like socialism, clearly, and he thinks that the college professor is a socialist. Okay, all right. The other word he used was Illuminati, so I googled that one too. Hmm. Now this one is more, even more confusing than socialism. People claiming to possess special enlightenment? I don't understand that. A sect of 16th century Spanish heretics? Uh, I think it's okay to use Wikipedia when you're looking stuff up. You won't use it for college research papers, really. And so I, so I get to this page, and I'm like, oh, man, there's really a lot here. <laughs> um, origins, transition. I think for this one, if I have time, I'm going to read about it a little bit. Like, if, if dad thinks that the college professors are Illuminati, what in heck is he talking about? I'm, I'm like, man, this is going to take me a while. I don't get this. So at this point, I might say, okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up for the moment because it's going to take me too long to really figure out Illuminati. So I'm going to give up and go back to my book because this is too complicated. And if, if, if it ends up being important later on when I'm writing my paper, I might read more. But for now, I'm going to give up and go back to my book. Okay, so <laughs> that is your short video on reading. Thanks.